What's up guys? Thought I'd make a little um, update video on what's been going on with the car and where I'm at. So, I got the front sheet metal. I mean, I got started on the front sheet metal. Ordered it all from AMD. I waited till I got a decent deal on uh, Summit. But you can see, not everything's tightened down yet. I'm still working on some of the gaps. But honestly, it's not that bad. I was really trying to get these gaps decent. Uh, the bottom's not tightened down. It's actually gonna come out right here a little bit. It's gonna pull out. There's no bolts in the bottom yet. I'm still kind of tweaking it, so. I gotta say for, you know, reproduction metal, it's not that bad. I, this took a while to get lined up. I know that. Um, I see a lot of cars that don't have that lined up and it kind of bothers me. I know that the, the, there's like a filler rubber piece that goes in here that actually makes it not lined up, but I'm going to keep mine this way. That's what I've heard anyways. So this one did come with a couple little dings in it, but I really didn't feel like sending it back and waiting. I really wanted to get it together. I kind of needed the motivation of it looking like a car again a little bit. And you can see here the gap. Not terrible. Um, it's just, you know, you set a budget and then put it together and get what you can every month. And it, it's slowly getting there. It looking like a car again a little bit helps a lot, I'd say. So I still have to work on the hood latch. The hood latch is still a little off. You know, still waiting on the, I guess it'd be called the upper cowl. Um, I did, ha I had to tweak and bend the hood. And what I did was I took a four by four and you know, it's still not perfect and by no means. I took a four by four and just kind of stuck it in here. And then over there, I would, you know, kind of push down on the hood, tweak the hood, and then close the hood again, see where I was at. If you're putting reproduction metal on a Camaro or one of these Firebirds, you know, I still have, it's still kind of up here too much, but I, I tweaked the hood a little more. But if you're putting, you know, this kind of metal on the, um, on one of these cars, just be prepared for you're gonna have to tweak things you're gonna have to you know maybe drill out some of the holes a little bit i did have to drill out some of the holes the problem i actually had on the passenger side and i'll see if i can show you was on this fender in here i don't think you'll be able to see anyways the fender was actually you know like right in here the fender it stuck out too much where they i guess they stamped it together and welded it so i had to grind some of this off right here and you can see on the other fender it wasn't like that it just, they just kind of stamp it a little bit off you know and it, and it makes it a little bit of a nightmare for you this is still just a little low here i'm gonna get in here and pull this out a little bit flatten it out but i mean the body lines seem to be pretty good i mean all this all that paint and stuff's coming off but and it's hard to tell in this garage, and you really need to roll the car out and be able to look down the side of it and from a little further away and stuff to be able to really tell if that's where I want them. This one's actually gonna move up, um, right here is gonna move up just a tiny bit as I tighten the bottom down. And when you're real close, it kind of does look like it needs to come up. And I, you know, you're talking a very tiny amount. And you know, you measure, I measured these out, and these are less than like a five millimeter gap which I'm kind of okay with. I actually think it looks better. So, and I may, I may pull this out a little, open this gap up just a smidgen. And then um, maybe open this one up a little bit more too. Just to try to get it more uniform. The hood needs to be bent up a little bit here. But honestly, I'm not super worried about it. This car is not getting painted anytime soon or anything like that. I have plenty of time. I mean, I still need so many parts. Obviously I still need a motor and all that. I still need so many parts that right now I'm not worried about it. Right now, it's just a matter of kind of gathering parts and putting things together. Um, next things I'm going to start ordering are the brackets for the bumper. I don't have them, and they're different for 69s, I found out, and I can't seem to find a set for a 68 online anywhere, so I'm going to have to source these. I did find one used set, but I don't know yet if I'm going to get those or not. But... I need the bracket that comes up. It's kind of like a J shape on both sides. And then there's another tiny little bracket that comes down just to be able to mount the front bumper. So that's probably what I'm going to order next. Um, I'm going to order the lower 
part of the fenders here. I don't have these. The ones I had were pretty rough, so I just got rid of them. And then the upper cowl too, because I need to get this in to make sure it's going to align okay with the hood. Um, sitting in the car and being able to see down this hood with the scoops and everything really kind of makes you feel good. It's, it's really kind of a cool look to it, just looking down the hood. So I'm really excited. Still haven't 100% decided on what engine I'm going to go with. I've been looking at some of the Blueprint 383s. I know it's not a Pontiac engine. But honestly, I mean, if you look at the prices of the Pontiac engines on Butler, you know, Butler Performance and or whatever, you're talking like 12 to 15 grand, I think. It's like, it just doesn't make sense to me. And they're heavy motors from everything that I've read online. Um, so I was thinking uh, just a 383 for now. You know, 450 horsepower or so. Uh, Blueprint actually makes a 396 with all forged internals that I'm interested in but i can't seem to find a lot of information on it i you know there's not a lot of reviews and the re reviews that are on there are bad you know but i i don't see why they would be it would be so much worse than say a 383 and you know i looked at atk stuff and a lot of their stuff comes with more forged internals um than the blueprint stuff does for around the same price and a little more torque i noticed on a lot of their motors they use like a 72 cc chamber head which helps with the torque. Um, so I don't know, I haven't figured out yet. I've narrowed it down to a few motors, but if you guys have any suggestions or you know, first-hand experience with any of these motors, let me know. So that's all, I just wanted to give you guys an update. So don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you wanna see more of the car. Thanks.